Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Um, it's Kelly, obviously, since you're watching my video. And today, I wanted to um, give you an idea or some ideas for maybe a cute Valentine's Day thing that you can tailor to your kids, your grandkids, your friends, your spouse, um, even the preacher at your church if you wanted to go that route. Um, you can tailor these. Now, over the past couple years, I've gotten a couple happy mails, random acts of kindness, um, poodle packages, friendship, um, finds, you know, whatever you want to call it in the mail. And I've gotten random playing cards, you know, not full decks or anything like, whoops, there's a piece of paper on that one. Okay. But just random. Now what's cool about playing cards, for the most part, unless they're, you know, a specific tailored deck, most playing cards, about 90% of them, are the exact same size as an ATC, or an artist trading card, which is two and a half inches this way, by three and a half inches this way, okay? Yeah, see, aren't these cool? I love these, these gold shiny things. Okay, so um, so they work great in pocket letters. Um, they'll tuck down into an envelope or inside of a greeting card or anything like that. Now, with Valentine's Day coming up, I thought, all right, that I've got all these um, random scattered cards. Even these are, aren't even just playing cards. These are just regular um, graphics or whatever you call them that you get in a, a little package. Whoops. I'm trying to get my... And even this is, let's see, two and a half inches. Whoops. By... Uh, that's a little bit more than three and a half this way maybe three and five eighths but you can trim it down my point is that you know you can go that route or what I like to do well I was thinking I'd like to do is take these extras you know that I don't really they don't match anything and even if you put them in something anyway so let's Let's do this. Let's set these aside for just a minute. And since I'm doing Valentine's Day, I thought that I would use some colors, you know, pink or whatever. I'm not a big pink person, but it is Valentine's Day. And I want to do some background first. Um, this is just, well, goodness, this is some fancy script and it doesn't want to come off the plastic. So I may just use the plastic and we'll put that off to the side. All right, now to do backgrounds, you can do one of two things. I already cut some two and a half by three and a half inch um, pieces plain on cardstock. But if you wanted to save time, maybe effort, whatever, you can. Um, You know, do your backgrounds before you cut. Okay. Word, word freeze, brain freeze, brain cramp, brain fart. All right. Now, this is pixie dust. I'm using a chalk ink. It dries the fastest. So, so I'm just going to throw it down there. See, it's really, really faint. actually picking up some of the ink that was still on there. I don't guess I cleaned this very well, but that's okay. All right, but say you don't want something that faint, you want something a little bit darker. 
So I've got a little stress ink. It's called Picked Raspberry. Maybe you want something just a itty bit darker. Pick that up. See, that's a little bit darker. Do one more, and then I've got a dewdrop with the color rosebud. We'll try that. Okay. Now I'm not trying to make sure it's perfect, I'm not trying to make sure it's straight, nothing like that. I am going to wipe this off because there's my spray bottle. I want to be able to show the difference in the color. Alrighty. Mm. Now, if you have trouble getting, you know, the ins and outs of your, some of your stamps, if they're really, really detailed, I have a soft paint or a toothbrush, an old toothbrush that I use. And see, just a little bit in there, very gently, and it gets out that extra, that extra ink in those spots that maybe you just don't want it in there. All right. So we use the picked raspberry, the pixie dust. Let's try rosebud. And I think this is going to be pretty bright. Oh, yeah. This is going to be pretty bright. <sighs> Let's do it this way. Let's do it sideways. about the same in I mean there's some color shading difference but as far as brightness and depth of color it's about the same as the picked raspberry but the picked raspberry is you know water soluble so if you spray it it'll smear the the dewdrop um, is a dye ink and it'll probably smear too but not as bad and then the chalk ink will that's dry so all right so you can cut this up if you want now me I'm just going to use the other side and I'm going to leave what's on here on here from the rosebud, but I'm going to add some pixie dust. Maybe a little bit of rosebud here and there. Hmm. Now, even if you didn't have um, playing cards to use, and you didn't even have card stock, or if you had playing cards and no card stock, you could still do that. Now, look how pretty that is. And so let's do one more at least for now. little bit more. There we go. We'll put one more on here. There we go. And there we are. So we'll Clean this off real quick. I'm 
use my wipe, my paper towel anyway. And we'll set that one aside. I have another one. It was just the first one I grabbed. Like I said, these are just jumping off points. Alrighty. And then you can take a card. Now, some of the cards are not quite as wide. Some are. But you can always trim them when you're done. Now, since we're doing Valentine's Day, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the red one. Okay, let me see how this works. Uh, I'm going to round my corners because most um, playing cards have rounded corners. That works. Yep, I'm still going to have to trim it. But, okay, now what I'm going to do is grab some tape. You can use glue if you want. That's fine. Me, I just, I like the ease and the less mess with uh, tape. And I'll tell you why. It's kind of a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I had gotten my first roll of double stick tape, okay, I have to tell you this. I had um, this Tombow glue, all right, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I didn't realize there were different ones, okay, this is the green one. Apparently, the blue one is a permanent one. The green one is repositionable, and I bought a whole case of it. Okay, because I was using it in giveaways and things like that. And uh, so I forget the project I was working on that day. I believe I was working on pocket letters. And all I was using was my glue. <laughs> well, at that point, I didn't realize that it was repositionable. Okay, I just thought it was just freaking glue, you know. Because if you look on here, it doesn't say on the front repositionable. It doesn't anything. It, it, I'm not even sure. Yeah, it's in the directions. It doesn't even say that it's repositionable glue. It tells you in the directions how to reposition. <laughs> anyway, so my fingers were so sticky. I'm um, all over my hands, the backs of my fingers, you know, because you're trying to wipe off the excess. And, and, oh my gosh, I was a mess. So I'm using baby wipes and I'm trying to wipe my hands off thinking, okay, that'll be good. I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I got into the bathroom and um, the toilet paper kept sticking to my hands. It was so funny. It was horrible, but it was funny. And ever since then, you know, I just, I kind of try to stay away from the, the, at least the Tombow, unless I know I'm going to be, you know, using whatever, but still, yeah, you're trying to wipe your butt and <laughs> the toilet paper keeps getting stuck to your fingers. You're like, this is just not happening. <laughs> okay, well, so I, I apparently the cards I have are not quite two and a half by three and a half. So, but I'm going to make sure the corners match anyway, so. Okay, so now we have, it's red on the back, right here. Now what I had done, let me 
move this out of the way. Was I printed off a bunch, I pulled up Notepad and I just typed out a bunch of um, little Valentine's Day sentiments that I thought, you know, would look cute. And with these, you can personalize them. You can, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, just if it's for somebody particular, you can say, you know, I love how, or if it's your spouse, I love how you let me sleep in on the mornings on Saturdays. Or I love the way you laugh when, you know, when I snort, when I laugh. Or you can personalize them any way you like. And this one says right here, just says, I love your smile. And I've got a bunch of them, you know, I adore you, you're a real gem, your friendship is a treasure, which I kind of like that one better, so let's use that one. <laughs> I know. Uh, ooh, shiny. Um, okay, I'll keep that one since I already cut it. I'll keep it close and I'll do the other one with it. Okay. Oops. Okay. Put that off to the side. Clean this up. Oh, I don't need the toothbrush right now. Put that back in here. There. All right. Now you can round these corners if you want. Um, I'm going to. Now it's kind of harder with the corner rounder I have from Fiskar is if they're really little. But if they've got a little bit of length to them, then you can get away with it. Oops. That one didn't do okay. There we go. Alrighty. Now I'm going to use probably, I'm going to use the rosebud. I'm going to ink my edges. And you can make these as detailed, as simple um, as you like. You can tailor the graphics to the person that you're giving it to. Um, you can do it for any holiday, not just Valentine's Day. All right. Where's the card? There it is. So right here, this is going to say, your friendship is a treasure. See, just like that. Now, if you wanted, you could tuck something up underneath it. Um, let me see. Do I have any lace handy? Usually, I've got something floating around. I don't have anything handy. Ah, nope. Okay, so we'll just leave it as is. Now I'm going to get this and use a glue stick. put this right in the center ish it's kind of off a little but that's okay there now you can leave it as is and just tuck it into a, a let's see I know the lights kind of bright it's not wanting to focus Anyway, now you can leave it as is, or I think I'm going to go ahead and ink the outside of this, kind of bring it all together. Okay. And I've got another red one in here. 
So let's do this red before. Okay, I know what I'll do this time. Instead of taping this, I'll tape the card. That way I know the paper will stick for good. Because I cut off a lot of tape when I trimmed it last time. <clears throat> do this really quickly and then I'll show you what to do with them afterwards. Okay. I like the double stick tape on, on shiny surfaces also, only because sometimes a glue stick on a shiny surface or a glue will peel off really easily. Or if you bent it wrong, it would crack and then pop off after the glue dries. So... There we go. And I can go ahead and just trim it without the sticky gumming up my scissors. Well, that just wasn't funny. That yeah, just slides right back on. Okay. I think that one went much easier than that one. All right, and then we'll do this one. I love your smile. outer edge of this one like I said there are a million different well probably not a million but I'm sure somebody really creative could come up with a million <laughs> there are many many ways that um, you can take this idea and run with <clears throat> all right so now that we've got Two of our, I call them, I guess, love cards. I don't know. We'll grab, and you can do a whole stack of them, you know. You could put a book ring right here or a little ribbon in the corner, you know, just punch a hole. You can put uh, two holes here and have them set on a desk fill up a whole bunch with, with two different um, book rings and then that way every day they can open and flip it and then they see the next one. You can date them as a calendar and do it that way if you wanted. I don't know if I want to poke a hole in these or not. Because I don't really have enough, but not the red ones anyways. I got a bunch of blue ones. But that's, that's my idea, you know? Let me see. Ow. Nope, wrong one. Oh, good grief. Of course, it's going to be the very last one I look at. See, there's a book ring. And I've got different sizes. I've got smalls, mediums, and I've got large. I get these at the Dollar Tree. Now, if you did two, you know, they would set 
or you could do them in a little box or a card or, you know, make yourself a little box and put them in. Or if you just get bored, sit down and make a whole bunch of them and then tuck them in little, you know, happy mails or something every so often. But that's my quick little project for the day. And uh, happy Valentine's Day. And if you're watching this on a different holiday, then um, happy whichever holiday you're watching. Uh, on that note, I'm going to let you go. And I will see you soon. Hope you have a wonderful day. And God bless you. Okay, um, just an add-on. I want to show you what I did. I made some more cards, but I made a little... Um, I poked holes in the corner, put a book ring in it, tied some uh, eyelash trim to it. Uh, but I made this little card thing for my granddaughter, Madison. All right, so I added some lace and just some gems on the front. But happy Valentine's Day, Madison. Love Mimi. And then on the inside, I've got your friendship is a treasure. I'm your number one fan. I like the way you roll. I'm hooked on you. Oops. This one says you make my heart bounce. You are a blast. Now, with each of these little sayings, you could also, you know, like, for example, make them individual Valentine's Day cards. You know, you make my heart bounce and then put it with one of those little, you know, 25 cent bouncy balls that you get out of a, a pinball machine or something. Not a pinball machine, one of those quarter machines. All right. You are a blast. Let's see this one's. I'll always pick you. You are one of a kind. You're a winner. I think you're perfect. And then have a little kitty cat or something on it. My heart beats for you. And I love your smile. You know, just something small. Something cute. And I've got these little bitty gift bags. I'll put some tissue paper in it. And maybe one of those little hearts with candy in it, you know, just tuck it down in there with a little book. And that's perfect with some tissue paper minus the, this thing that's stuck to it. And there we go. I've got the cutest little Valentine's Day present for my granddaughter, Madison. She's uh, 12 years old. And it probably all together took me maybe an hour, hour and a half total, if that. I got up a few times. But, all right. So I hope this helps. And I hope you have a beautiful and a wonderful holiday. Thanks. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.